Hey everybody, it's LS11 and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we took on the Safari Zone and this time we're standing here outside the Fuchsia City Gym. And so I don't forget, we're actually going to put Prower up front. Don't ask why I sound a little different today. I swear I'm still the same person. But yeah, see there are invisible walls in the gym. Strength isn't the key for Pokemon. Do you understand this? Pokemon is about strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. I'm not good at strategy. Leave me alone. See? You come in here and you're like, oh, well, I'm going to take them on with... And that missed, of course. There we go. But you come in here and you're like, oh, it's poison types. I'm going to bring a psychic type and ground types and stuff. And they're like, nah, we got psychic types too. Also, they're like almost level 40. Like the level spike in this game is insane. Like, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, honestly. Especially with them knowing psychic. And getting critical hits. Not helping my case. And the fact we've got four Pokemon that are kind of underleveled here. And we can't even use one of them. Yeah, it's not good for us. I should have kept Bite, honestly. But we do have one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So at least that's good. we got Jolteon. But as you saw, he did nothing to a Hypno. While a Psychic did almost our entire, more than half of our game, or of our life. There. So, losing one and a half Pokemon there, we took down the first Pokemon in this gym. I might have to do some off-screen training or something. What? Extraordinary. We'll leave Chad up front because he is bulky, so we'll see what he can do. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamt of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. Yeah. So the poison type gym with a bunch of psychic types. There we go. So Chad is kind of our saving grace here. I do wish we had the EXP share, but you know, we're like five Pokemon short of getting it. But at least we got Chad, who is going to pretty much plow through this gym for us, apparently. Kadabra. We used a Kadabra once upon a time on this channel. I still have that save file, it's just not on... Unfortunately, it's not on a game card. I wish it real. I really wish it was because that was probably my favorite playthrough of a Pokemon game ever. Like there was so much random crap. Like we got a shiny. That was my first third gen or below shiny. Like all my shiny Pokemon have been fourth gen, fifth gen, sixth gen, and seventh gen because I've gotten a few shinies in seventh gen as well. More than I probably should have. I also study the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Like, I know I have a shiny Sigilyph, shiny Mewtwo, and shiny Grumpig, all from Gen 7, that are all legitimate. Here we go, now we're seeing poison types in this gym. And Glare, of course. It's a little annoying, it paralyzes you automatically, so... But, that's not going to stop us from slamming our giant Snorlax into their Arbok. And I'd rather be paralyzed than poisoned. Maybe. Depends on the day. There we go. Sandslug, okay. Well. Hey, Mac. Get in there. 
Time to sweep the leg, Johnny. I watched Deadpool 2 yesterday, okay? So I've got a lot of pop culture references on my mind. Thanks to that movie. I think Ice Punch might be super effective. I can't remember. Yes, it is. Ah, crap. Of course it would. Oh, well, we'll go to the Pokemon Center after this battle anyway. I need to get max some experience in here, though. Are you serious? I'm just mock punch to get a quick knockout. Alright, and we'll switch to... Let's get Squirt in here. We will use Squirt and Minozo a little more often now. I haven't been using them that much lately since they... Since they both fully evolved, I almost felt overpowered using them for a while. But it should be alright. And we can try out Surf in battle now. Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage. It's a good move. And we get poisoned again. And it gets poison again, as it does. Alright, so now we're going to head back to the Pokemon Center and heal, because we need to. Ow, ow, ow. And we can use Prower a little more again. Now, I remember Koga's team roughly, and it's kind of weird. Koga's gym is probably the weirdest one for me. It's the one I remember the least, but also remember still. Like, the sixth, or the fifth and sixth gyms in this game are the ones I remember really weirdly. Like, I remember parts of them, but I don't remember other parts of them, if that makes any sense. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there are little white dots on the corners where the invisible walls are. So, like, right here. They're very hard to see, though. So, the invisible wall... You can go there, but you can't go either of these places. Yeah, I'm having to look really closely. You can go this way, though. You can go around the perimeter. Stop right there. The faint invisible walls of Fuchsia Gym have you frustrated? No, actually they don't. I, I remember them fairly well, actually. Sand Slash. I swear, Prower, you're gonna get used soon. I promise. It's just not yet, apparently. The game just doesn't want you used yet. <laughs> apparently. That and I apparently just forget everything about this game all of a sudden. There we go. I did actually go to GameStop this morning and pre-order three games, though. I pre-ordered Smash Brothers Ultimate, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and WWE 2K19. Two of those three things will be getting a lot of videos when they come out. The other might get one live stream. We'll see. Bam. Dig. We're gonna... Nope. Not much at all. For a two-turn move, it's not doing much to Arbok. Which, then again, we're three levels lower than it. It is kind of interesting how the levels kind of go down in this gym, too. Like, we got here and they were right at level 40, and now we're getting towards the final trainers before Koga himself, and, uh... It's like they're level 30s and roughly around there. Like, they're the same level as me all of a sudden. It's just kind of one of those weird things. Where's that critical hit five minutes ago when we were doing dig over and over? 
There we go, Prower got a level. There we go. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. What did you descend from? I don't want to say. <sighs> per hour, I'm sorry. Let's see what we can do. Apparently, two can play this game. I know I have a bunch of antidotes, so it should be all right. All right, let's see what our there we go, our stat- oh, that was a critical, so it probably won't do much anyway. Um, shouldn't you be hurt by burn first this turn, or is it only what's going to be most inconvenient to me? Yeah, no, apparently, apparently it only works like that, where it'll swap back and forth when it's going to end in my death. Yeah, we're gonna switch. I hate fighting psychic types in the poison type gym. It's actually very annoying. So now we gotta kill him. Wow, I think this is gonna be one of the first times where a gym takes up more than a a gym takes up more than half of a video, excuse me. Stupid voice cracks. You're more skilled than I thought. Alright, yeah, we'll just use some items here. I think I've got some antidotes. Yeah, I bought over a hundred, that's right. Because I was tired of getting poisoned all the time. And I bought some super potions. All right, now then. I see... No, wait, I don't. Yeah, I do. No, I don't. Wait, there we go. All right, so we're skipping one trainer. <laughs> a mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady down. Boom, sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Bum, ba, da, da. Coughing. Alright, so this is one of those cases where we can't use Dig on it because it has Levitate. Which is unfortunate. But it'll be alright. And we have priority over it because of our speed. There we go. Prower. I was hoping Prower would get some good bits in in this gym. And right now she is. Oh, come on! Prower withstands it, though, so that was good. Muck. Ah, we'll switch. We have to. Let's get Sparky out here. Let's see what happens when we had a shockwave on Muck. I like Muck, it's a cool Pokemon. I know it's just a big pile of sludge, it's just a bigger version of Grimer, but I like it. So, pay it on me all you want. I like it. I've used one on a team before. Not on a Let's Play, but I have used one on a team before, and I enjoyed using it. Because I think I got really good at using it. Alright, so if Sparky can't take him down, we're going to switch into the Nozo, because this guy keeps using Minimize. And eventually he's going to start missing. 
So we'll switch into Denozo because Denozo has Aerial Ice, which is 100% accuracy. And I knew that was bound to happen. So now we'll get the Nozo out there. And he's gonna use a potion on this turn, I'm sure. And I'm gonna get poisoned, of course. Yep, Hyper Potion, I called it. And Muck is so defensive, it's crazy. It's stupid. Is what it is. And so now we just gotta keep aerial acing and hoping it goes down before we do, because otherwise we might be screwed. Alright, let's see. Well, we have thunder, fire, and ice on our side, so let's see what we can do. And we missed. Off to a great start. Even better. And both of our moves that have 100% accuracy are gone. And we're missing again. I hate this muck so much. There we go. Oh, come on. Alright, we're gonna use Chad. I think we have a bunch of, um... Alright, we have a max revive. I thought we had a bunch of revive revives. But we don't. We had that one max revive, and I'm going to use it on Dinozo. Because Dinozo is my only hope for this muck. Because, man, this thing is going to be the bane of my existence right now, isn't it? This is going to be funny. See all that hard work you just did, Koga? It'd be funnier if I had face cam. I think you guys can figure out what I just did, though. Oh, the good old... Oh, come on! This is a stall. This is such a stall, and I hate it. And you see how much Snore is doing now. <sighs> Man, this is frustrating. Paralyze it at least, please. Man, if I get a crit on it, if I do get a crit on him, it's game, set, match. I will say that much for sure. All right, well, that was a really useful turn. At least uh, Chad can't get paralyzed, the, or poisoned, so that's good. I didn't even know that. Man, we are only on his second out of four Pokemon, and he is taking down three of ours already. Mac didn't even land a hit. And we're getting no damage in on him. Because of minimize. Oh, come on. I said when I got a crit on him, it was game set. But now we are down to three. Really two and a quarter, if that. 
So what we'll do is we will try... We'll try and dig and see what happens. Because I believe I know his other two Pokemon. And now we're going to hope for Parahacks. Oh, come on. That turn was total BS, and everyone watching knows that. Meaning, time to Aerial Ace for the next... That was Tackle, Xander. That was freaking Tackle. You stupid idiot. Alright, you can all just hear me tap A on Aerial Ace for the next five minutes. Or until I get a crit, or until he gets a crit and one-shots Dinozo. Which he's probably about to take out Dinozo again. There! I said when I got a crit it was game, set, match against him. Coughing. Alright. Well, we're down to the big guns, so... As much as I hated doing that... There we go. Now he's down to one. Somehow the game is in our favor now. Somehow. Like I said, this is the I believe this is actually the first time we've had an entire episode dedicated to a gym leader. It's kind of weird. It's kind of cool at the same time, though, because... And Squirt, of course, is going to carry us to victory as he does on the back of his shell. And it is... Oh, come on. See, you don't even get the glory of a, uh, you don't even get the, uh, full glory of Surf. You just gave it Water Pulse. I should've just tackled. Disrespect. Game. Set. Match. Huh. You have proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. So let's do serve outside battle. Oh, I'll take this too. Alright, there we go. And we gotta actually take the invisible walls out of here. Great. You know, they should just let me escape rope out of this gym, honestly. We're going to end this with Squirt Feigning, aren't we? The Invisible Walls gave me no trouble getting in, but getting out, by God. Anyway, so I guess I'll end up the episode. So thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. I've been OS11. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of the series. And of course, as always, feel free to subscribe. Subscribe. It's free. It's easy. And it really helps me out. Thanks, everyone.